Yo, what's going on everyone? Thought I'd make a very quick video here today on how to convert your photos into images like this. So it's like a single color vector that you can use with like laser engraving and things like that. So to do this, I will be using Inkscape, which is a completely free program. And I'll also be using Photoshop. But if you haven't got a copy of Photoshop, there is an online browser version of Photoshop called photop.com. I'll put a link down in the description. You can follow this tutorial exactly in there as I've done here, because I've done it here, and I've also done it in Photoshop, and there's two different versions here. The settings seem to be a little bit more sensitive with Photop, so just have a play around with it. It's very easy to do. So once you've done it once or twice, obviously you can do it on, you know, any photo within minutes and you'll know the settings you'll just need a minute later to get the perfect image so yeah i've done a di couple of different ones here using the same process so get into it now what i'm going to do here i went onto google and i just typed in pet portrait and this is the image i got now it's got a background on it as you can see there with this background it won't affect it too much but i do prefer to have no background at all so there's also a website called photoroom.com you can also get it on your phone as well, and it just automatically removes backgrounds for you very quickly. Now, I know it can be done in Photoshop, but in Photop, it can also be done there, but it's not automatic. It takes a little bit longer. So if you just find a photo you like, so I'll be using this image, I can just drag and drop that into there. And straight away, it just removes the background. So if you go here in background and remove that. Perfect, there's no background there. So what I can do then, I can just download this for completely free. It's a low-res image, but that's not going to matter too much. It still works. But if you wanted a high-res image, obviously you'd have to get the pro version. So we're going to continue downloading that. That's fine. And we're going to Photoshop and we'll import this photo in. Okay, so with this photo opened in Photoshop now, the let's have a look at the settings there. So the image size is 800 by 1000, which isn't too bad. The resolution... Um, let's make it 150 so it's a little bit better. Well done, that's exactly what we want. Oh, in Photo Room as well, when you download the free version, um, it does have a watermark there. But in Photoshop, you can just remove it. I hope uh, I hope nobody from Photo Room's looking at this so much. <laughs> right, let's get into it. So we got our picture ready to go. Now I'm going to show you there's just a few things you need to do. And it's honestly it's so simple. So first of all, we're going to hold control. And we're going to click our image. What that does there, that just selects the actual layer and all the outline. Because we haven't got a background, there's no background to it. I'm just going to mask it, which is that one down there. And that's created a mask around that. Okay, so with this layer selected again, we are going to go first of all to filter, oil paint. But if you're using Photo P, you can go to stylize and it'll be in oil paint there. No, mine doesn't show there, but it is in stylized. So we've got oil or paint, go 10 and 10, and it looks all right. Everything's up to max, but with your version, if you've got an old version or, or a newer version, or if you're using Photo P, again, it can be different. The best way to look at it is just look at the image, and see, that's just normal, and it's going to kind of stylize it there, so you'll see the brush strokes. But you'll find sometimes it can distort like things like eyes and stuff. So just have a play around with it till it looks like it's oil painted, but not distorting the image too much. So that's fine. I'm happy with that. Next, we're going to go to filter again. And then in filter gallery, we'll use poster edges. Let me just zoom out to this. So with poster edges, you've got the edge thickness max of 10 for me. But again, have a play around with it. But you'll see what it does. See how it just sharpens the lines. So if you bring that down kind of blurred a bit we bring them up sharp there edge intensity keep that to zero because i mean you can put it up it just looks horrible to me and a posterization have a play around with that i mean that would work as well but i'm just going to put that up to six and okay with that next filter and i'm going to go blur and i'm going to go surface blur if you have a look at this it makes it look a bit more like a cartoony type effect if you know what i mean so if you move that up, yeah, doesn't look too well there. So what did I have that on? 10. And this, again, you can have a mess around with it. But 20 works fine for me. And again, we're going to go filter. We're going to apply oil paint again. Okay, that. Filter one more time. And now what we're going to do, we're just going to go sharpen and unsharp mask. So you see how that just popped then straight away? So the settings, you can have a mess around with that if you want. Um, 180 works all right for me. Radius, we can bring that up and down. 
Okay, that's the hard bit done. That is it. So all we need to do now with our layer selected, down here, you're going to go... We're going to have levels, which is up here. We're going to go again, hue, saturation, and lastly, we're going to go posterize. Uh, first of all, then we're going to work with our hue saturation. We're going to turn it to black and white. Um, right. So yeah, this is where you just mess around with these settings now. So let's put that down to let's have like a two. Two looks are right. There's a lot of black there. So what you can do, there's two things here you can mess around with here. So in the hue saturation, you've got your lightness. You can pull that up and you can pull it down. So but there, looks all right for me. And in your levels, again, you can mess around with these. And also these sliders down here as well. So if we go with that. Let's add three colors. No, I don't like that. Four colors. Okay, you can add, you know, lows. It just it just colors the actual image. Which is not what we want. But two does look good to me there. I'm happy with that. Again, you can tweak it a little bit more. Where did that go? You know, have a play around with it. What you can do as well, if you can't find, you know, the right setting for it, click your layer. I'm going to add a new layer on top, and then you can just go overlay. And then with the brush selected over here, so black, it'll add more blacks and darken it. And then whites, you can just change it up a bit. So if we can just get that, maybe do the tongue a little bit more. But um, there we go. That's all it is. It is that easy. So all I need to do now is just select all of our layers. Well, I'm selecting. I'm going to right click. I'm just going to merge them all as one. Select everything. So Control and A, and then Control and C to copy. Or you can just hold Control and click that, and then Control and C for copy. Straight into Inkscape, and let's paste it up here. So Control and V to paste. And again, I've got the trace bitmap settings there. So that's the settings I'll be using. I'll go Update. Apply, and it's done. That is that's how easy it is. But yeah, is it just going to be a quick video today? Um, I, I see a couple of people always requesting things like this, so I thought I'd just make a video to show you exactly how to do it and how easy it is. All right, guys, I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, definitely give it a thumbs up. If you are new here and you're not subscribed already, go down and click that button as well. It helps me out a lot. And uh, yeah, if you want to see any other videos or tutorials on how to design things, put it down in the comments and I'll, um, I'll see if I can make a video on it for you. All right. Anyway, have a good one. Uh, we'll see you in the next one. Sarah Adam.